Hey everybody, I am Yoshigai, and I'm going to be playing some custom tracks worldwide. Alright, well, I hope that you guys will enjoy these, and yeah, well, anyways, let's uh, get started. Well, here I am on my Wii menu on my other Wii. Um, you can see there's now a Humber channel on here. And um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to um, get a little bit of a different start up here just to show you guys what I have to go through to uh, play custom tracks worldwide. So, um, you know, my brother and sister don't like the Humber channel installing their Wii. Well, technically, it's their Wii since I bought my own. But, um, so anyways, this is kind of the process I have to go through every time. Um, you see, um, it's kind of weird because I have to go all the way back to, uh, what, May, May 30th? Or, yeah, 30th. And the Humber channel, the letter bomb, rather, is on the 30th of May. That's when I uh, last put my IP in please.hackme.com. So anyhow, um, oh yeah, I got my got unplugged the nunchuck because I don't know what happened. I think Weber said not to have the nunchuck plugged in while the installer. But anyhow, um, yeah, so uh, I have the letter bomb and this is kind of what I have to do, install the Humber channel each and every time. And yep, the software must not be sold, neither alone nor as part of a bundle. If you paid for this software or received it as part of a bundle following payment, you have been scammed and should be de and should demand your money back immediately. For further details, see HTTP colon I guess that's colon I don't know uh, slash slash hbc dot hackme dot com slash scam. So, I guess, you know, it's pretty cool how it, you know, it pre it's, the press one to continue message popped up right as I finished, you know, saying all that. Anyways, the hack me installer. I don't have Boomi on this Wii, of course, because I don't want to install something that they don't want. Uh, but, yeah, I can always take the Homebrew channel off. Well, for the most part, may leave some remains on this Wii for, you know, because that's what the homebrew is and has to uh, I'm not sure what it is that leaves maybe cookies whatever you know whatever technical thing that the homebrew channel leaves on the Wii but anyways um, yeah that's kinda what I have to do go through the hack mean star all that and then here we have CTGPR channel um, alright well Let's go ahead and load that bad boy. And good thing, guys, I have the most recent version. Well, if not, you know, this, you know, pretty close to uh, most re recent version. But I did, uh, you know, spend some time updating this crap. And, um, yeah, so hopefully. Oh, yeah, and, um, there's new things in the settings. There's a whole new page here. Um, draggable blue shells, list, race, things. I decided to, um, you know, enable the me heads on the mini map. I want to see how that, you know, works out. And, you know, maybe it may be easier for me to, um, identify who's in the room and, you know, mention what's going on, what not. Um, but, anyways, um, I, yeah, I have the me heads on the mini map. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if the encryption available vehicles. Uh, host always wins vote. Um, I mean, I'm not sure what all this is. The Thundercloud Idafire. Um, and I guess, you know, you could um, enable certain tracks to load when you launch CTGPR, which is kind of interesting. This little thing is pretty interesting, to be honest. Um, but yeah. We'll see exactly what's you know to expect in a few moments when I get into a custom tracks worldwide room. Well, let's make sure there is uh, people online to be honest, because that'd be bad if I, uh, you know, where I uh, go online when there ain't anyone else on. Okay, Bowser, let's get going. Uh, on to the old Wii Fi server. No rooms! Oh, crap. 
crap. Oh dear, so this could actually be a conflict here. I may not be able to play custom tracks from World Wides. Let's hope for the best here. You know, maybe there might be somebody searching. Perhaps not, as it's indicated on chatsoft.ca.uk that I don't see anybody else searching, so, you know. If I can't find anybody, then, uh, oh crap, is we fight down or something? Because I don't see any matches at all. Oh my god, why in the world did, oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I was on some other, um, some other tab on Weemfy and it said current, you know, had the link to go to the current matches. I thought Weemfy was being operated on and therefore nobody would have been online anyways. But as we could see, you know, I'm the only one searching on CTGPR. The rest of the people online are in rooms or uh, versus races. No, well, I mean, Kind of hoping, oh wait, oh goodness, we found one person, that could be a start to an exciting Custom Tracks Worldwide episode. I mean, no, it kind of sucks that, you know, that, um, you know, if there's nobody else online, then you have to kind of be the start, you know, to uh, Custom Tracks Worldwide or, you know, Worldwide or something, but anyways, it looks like, um, our problem is solved. We're doing um, a custom checks worldwide race after all. Alright, so, um. Me heads on the map. I'm gonna be Yoshi in the mock bike. And I don't know who Spud is playing as. But, uh. We'll see how this Me heads on the mini map will work. I don't want any of this. How about we go to the fake item box? Up and it's like SNS Mario Circuit 1. He chooses Super Sky Courtyard. It looks like you're doing Super Sky Courtyard. Hopefully, there will be more people that will uh, want to play custom checks worldwide. And, you know, then the room could expand. But for now, we're just going to do Super Sky Courtyard, which is kind of hectic. <laughs> um, let's see how I'm doing this. Oh, so yes, we have Spud's head and my head. <laughs> On the minimap. Whoa, almost died right there. And there I go. I mean, this course has kind of, you know, been challenged ever since I started playing this because, you know, I've really not been playing CTWWs too often. But kind of having some difficulty, I'm catching up. And where is he? Okay, he just started, so. Anyways. Oh, shoot! Right inside that pipe. And how do we respond onto this? turquoise area and um spud's kind of in you know distancing i'm not even sure dis distancing is a word but he's increasing his lead rather pardon me guys okay so anyways second place red shell uh this red shell is probably not gonna home in on him or anything i'll just hold on to it until i can get to these item boxes and then i'll go fire Oh no, I didn't even think that the, lo the logs would have uh, messed me up, but it looks like it did. But no worries, I was able to get out of that waterfall. Okay. So into this, this waterfall area, and up into the cannon. Oh, you didn't get the item box. No worries. Still second place. There's no other position I could be on other than first, but that's where Spud is. Ooh, I was on the edge there. Alright, enough of that song. I mean, I'm really bad at lyrics, to be honest. I can't sing songs for my life. Like, I really want to sing some, um, some, you know, old songs, but, you know, there's really not, I don't really have, you know, too big of a variety on, um, songs I know. Like, I really, uh, want to know 
and be able to sing songs like, um, let's see, you know, something that Boston sings, like, um, I don't know, just old songs in general. I really want to sing stuff like that, but unfortunately I don't really, you know, I'm pretty bad at lyrics. I just think, you know, in other words, I mean, you know, songs just sound like they're right, but you just don't know what words are supposed to go where. But anyways, I was a little bit too distracted going off in a little bit of a tangent there. But, you know, not to worry, I'm gonna lose VR anyways. Hopefully there'll be some more people in the next race. But, you know. Yeah, my apologies for this two-player room that is pretty out of hand. It's like Spud's trying to finish this race off. Chain chop in the water ball. You never see that. But, um, yeah, it'd be cool if I were to know, you know, good songs, stuff like that. The lyrics, uh, you know, good songs like, um, what's a song that I really want to know? The lyrics to and I don't know. And I mentioned Boston. You know, More Than a Feeling is a song that, you know, it'd be cool if I knew the lyrics to that. Four players in this room coming up, which is pretty good we're um, getting there to you know the point where we have a bunch of players in the room okay so we have Viet Cong 6575 VR SW Nicholas 9146 VR Spud 5851 VR but somehow he was able to pwn me and me with 6871 VR kind of going on a bad streak here not to worry, I'm gonna choose SNES Mario Circuit 1 again. Me hits on the minimap kind of really makes it easier for me to commentate. <laughs> N64 Yoshi Valley. Yep, let's go ahead and do it. Goodness, my iPhone 4S, it really doesn't, you know, allow for much, you know, there's not much RAM on there. <clears throat> It only has, um, it was an 8 gigabyte phone, but obviously 2 uh, gigabytes were occupied by the iOS. And looks like, quickly, these two Funky Kong players just get, uh, they get beat up, sort of. Did I go the long way or what? Because these positions are so messed up. That looks like I'm in first, and I'm past Spud. He's trying to get first place. Looks like these guys go the short route. And Spud somehow dies. And same with uh, Viet Cong, I think. Well, maybe that's Viet Cong in first. And I could have left my banana in there. Ah! There is nowhere for me to go. Spud and uh, whoever that is back there. Looks like the person with the weird face. This crush, uh, Spud. SW, uh, Nicholas. Looks like Viet Cong is in first. SW Nicholas taking second place. And Spud in fourth. So third place. Spud with the, uh, triple green shells. You know, to be honest, I don't even know the short route. I'm just following people. Don't want to get put you know, out of the question about these guys. So I have a mushroom, and it looks like I didn't take the short route, but, you know, it's terribly bad. Uh, should have used the mushroom or something, but I was afraid if I used the mushroom, I was gonna, you know, go flying off the cliff or something. SW Nicholas perhaps died. Nevertheless, I'm in fourth. <clears throat> With our giant Yoshi egg friend here. Which is probably, a, you know, texture hack chain chop. Oh goody, a gold mushroom will definitely benefit me. And now I'm in third place. Into the final lap. Wow, I'm, that mushroom really... Well, not uh, the mushroom then wasn't short, but 
It was just, you know, I was pretty far out. Oh, no. I caromed off the um, fence right there, and that's kind of what, you know, made it so I got hit. And that puts me in the port. Wow. What do you know? These, this race has, you know, quite a turn of events here. Spud and I trying to catch up. And looks like um, Viet Cong in the lead still. And he's pretty much dominating here. Spud getting crushed by the Yoshi egg. Triple mushrooms for me. This could be my chance to um, catch up here. And, you know, it looks like I'm a little bit too far out. And I was nowhere near the track. Here's Spud on my tail trying to pass me up. We both get stopped in the grass. Spud be trying to beat me. And looks like he's going to be able to finish ahead of me. Aggie minus 39. Wow, I mean, <laughs> this track, I mean, there's really no short way to shortcut in this track. You have the um, grass terrain area, six players, except we have a couple more who decided to join in. And, you know, as much players as we could get in this room will be awesome. Six players, let's get going with this, um, you know, the next races here. Three, four, three. Alright, 16 minutes. Doing pretty awesome here. Wow, so we have Dan, triple star D A N with balloons and a coin. And he brought his guest little boy. Little dot boy rather. Um Alright, so here we go. Hmm, I'm not sure what to choose. Kinda wanna choose an old track. Um, oh, oh, I know what to choose. Oh, no, can I get to it? That's the question. Nope. Looks like I uh, ran out of time. That's kind of interesting. Abyssal Ruins. No, no way. Goodness, I can't do that track. No! Stupid course randomizer. Choosing Abyssal Ruins. Eh, well, whatever. I guess this is... Well, I mean, quite frankly, this track is good, but, you know, it's really not um, what I was, you know, what I had in mind and something, uh, you know, a track to do. But, you know, it's pretty cool. They improvise this track quite a bit. And you can see that there's, um, you know, you go under the water. Definitely something cool. It looks like somebody is trying to... I don't know what, uh, as... W or whatever his name is. You know, it had letters in the beginning. He's in a clan. And I don't know what he was doing. I guess he just, you know, attempted a shortcut that was um, a misnomer or something. I don't know. He's trying to gain here. Gain on my tail. Oh, Scud, I kind of saw that. It was going to be a, you know, kind of interesting to see where that green shell was going. It, it looks like it made contact with Spud. And SW, SW Nicholas, that's who it was. Um, he passed me up, looks like Spud shoots the red shell, and it will make contact. Looks like some people got disconnected, because I'm in fourth, and um, <clears throat> nothing doing here. I don't know who got disconnected, but somebody did get disconnected. And here we have Spud. It looks like that was a shortcut, but um, SW Nicholas was unable to shortcut properly and um, all right so fourth place is that you know it was that's kind of an illusion right there I thought that the um, the entrance to this cave was um, moving it probably was but that's some great effects right there to make it you know an illusion so realistic looking that even I thought you know it was moving Gold Mushroom, alright, so looks like we have the comeback plan plot out for us here. But this track is kind of interesting. We'll have to see if I'll be able to catch up quite much. Looks like I'm near the spud, but not yet second place. Leaving uh, Viet Cong in last. That's not a good item. It gave me a blooper. Oh man, it looks like that'll make it so Viet Cong passes me. And. Here we are on to our um, you know, final opportunities. It looked like Viet Cong uses the Mega Mushroom. 
running out of opportunities to uh, win here. And it looks like I'm able to pass Dad Kong. Final item box. Before the goal, looks like they gave me a blooper. Dad Kong, I'm not sure what he got. But he could take the third place, but it looks like he was a little bit too far out to uh, beat me. It looks like minus one. Um, since I got third place. And, um, little boy. And that were those. Feel like I disconnected. That. Only minus five for getting disconnected. That's quite shocking. You would have thought that he would have lost more VR points since he got disconnected, but only five. That's you know kind of interesting. Let's see who the new uh, person is. Looks like uh, Luke is in this room. He is kind of you know. I'm kind of suspecting he'll be quite you know. He'll be pretty victorious, if you will. Um, so it's Luke with, what is that, it's like an arrow in his name, 9766 VR. So I wanted to choose, um, we'll see if I have enough time. Where am I? Oh no. Oh wait, was it, no. Cartwood Creek, uh, Creek rather. Um, <clears throat> I don't even know what I was trying to choose. I was trying to choose that uh, scary track that um, was in the old CTGPR versions. But we're doing Crystal Dungeon and we'll see how many people will try to do the respawn glitch thing, whatever, that for some reason is still available on this track. First place, what do you know? And these guys shortcut. We'll see. Oh, some people actually didn't need to get respawn. Interesting. Spud down there. Oh, where did my mushrooms go? What the heck? They just disappeared. Spud trying to. Oh, dang it! Why did I throw it forward? I should have just chucked that crap behind me and got Spud. That looks like that's not the case. Spud died. Wow, what do you know? That's interesting. Puts me in third place. And uh, Viet Cong. I think that's yeah, Viet Cong. Behind me is probably going to pass me up since I went into the grass. On my fender. And now I'm in fourth as Viet Cong has taken third and now uses the Mega Shroom. Trying to crush me here. Interesting. He's pretty close. Spud behind me. And Viet Cong. It looks like the red shell is the Goomba. And these guys shortcut and actually, you know, it's kind of interesting. Did they decrease the distance between the, um, the starting area and the entrance to the cave because nobody's getting respawned. I'm, you know, finding that kind of interesting. Yeah, it looks like Spud's not having too great of a time. He gets hit and is in last place. I'm nowhere near contention with the rest of the racers, so I'll just toss this green shell back. Blooper is not going to benefit me too much. And now I fall the fifth as Spike gets a speed item. <clears throat> okay, Star. This place is uh, not awful, but anyways, Vietcong firing the red shell at. Um, I don't know who it is. Looks like yep, I didn't need to get respawned. Interesting. Spud somehow died, and here I am passing Vietcong. Triple mushroom and let's see if I can avoid it. No! Damn it! There goes my mushrooms. And um, but it's still in last. The Etcon passed me. It looks like SW Nicholas is in second with um, what's his name? Maybe just one. A uh, blue shell is not gonna really benefit me too much either. It looks like uh, Spud was able to get a speed island. I might hold on to this, you know, in case the icon uh, crashes the finish line. Yep, I'm gonna fire that, and let's see if it will make contact with Spud right before the line, and I'm gonna get fourth. Pretty good strategy because I could have fired that at Viet Cong, and he would have gone third, you know, anyways, because it was so far from him. But strategy told me to um, hold on to that crap, and I was able to get Spud before he crossed the finish line. Six players in this room. And I guess this one could be my last race, perhaps, if you guys 
I think this video is going to be too long. I want to have, you know, an excessive rendering time. But, um, yeah, that was Luke who won the race. And it looks like we have triple star Blade with another set of triple stars. 7439 VR. And he joined the room. Now let's see if I can get my course chosen. Where the hell is it? Haunted Woods. That's what it was. I was really not sure what I was doing wrong. I could have sworn I knew where Haunted Woods was. But I think the mushroom, the Mega Mushroom Cup was in a different position in the previous versions of CTGPR. So that's kind of what threw me off there. And we're doing um, Color Waterland. Which, quite frankly, I'm bad at this track. <laughs> Um, bad startup, that's kind of, it's probably going to be a key reason to why I'm going to lose this race, but I'm going to have to be, um, positive and, you know, not negative. I already said that I'm going to lose, but who knows, I could actually pull it off. The bullet bill somehow lasted a little bit longer and puts me in a third place. Whoa, what was that? I was like stuck in the ground or something? And then it just kind of... It was like a graphics failure right there. But anyways, third place. Interesting. Let's see if we can make it. Ah, oh, bad angle! And it looks like I'll have to be respawned here onto this uh, transparent part of the track. But I'm still in third somehow. Why are you trying to pass me up for uh, third place? And I'm... Trying to maintain my ground. Blade trying to pass me up and looks like he will uh, move into third place. And now I have triple mushroom. Good trade for one mushroom for three. But now I'm able to pass Blade barely staying alive. And looks like I was, you know, kind of messed up I, as I turned the wrong way right there. Um, fifth place now since I died. Alright, so. Fifth place, interesting. Let's see if, no, I didn't have enough speed to um, do that glitch again. So, I'm in fifth. That's not last, I don't think. There's Blade, so I'm catching up, I think. Oh my goodness, it looks like I'm gonna die. I thought I got saved by the, um, the 3D figure. 3D, uh, it's not a cube, I know it's a rectum. Rectangle or prism? Oh goodness. Bullet Bill trying to do what it could right there, but I knew I was dead. And that, you know, furthers my distance from the rest of the pack. <clears throat> I think this is the last. This is last place, but I don't know. There could be somebody out there that's in last. Gold Mushroom. Mm, catching up here. Oh no. Oh, good thing I stayed on track right there. And that could have been horrific. But I was able to survive. And, oh, it looks like the glitch didn't occur this time. So fourth place, not, you know, the worst position. I'm being Viet Cong, I think. He's catching up. And passed me, but dies, so that will you know, keep me in fourth. You know, perhaps somebody died at the, no, looks like I'm going to get fourth. No, if, um... These guys don't pass me up. And it looks like that's the case. I get fourth place. Plus one. And, um, five players in the room. I think that, um, I ought to end it here. Alright, so, Custom Shacks Worldwide number 40 will, you know, conclude with a loss here. You know, it wasn't the worst loss, but, you know, it could have been worse, but, you know, I contended and somehow got fourth place, being Viet Cong and who else? I don't know who it was, but, um, so yeah, this is, yeah, unfortunately, I tried to, um, go on Wii Fi yesterday, and, you know, on my Wii, and the connection error is still occurring. I saw something in the updates section that said that um, 
you know, big, resolving connection issues, but, you know, I guess that wasn't the case, and, um, I'm still unable to connect to, um, well, I mean, I'm able to connect to Weemfy, but I can't find opponents still. It's still becoming, um, it's still kind of an issue here to find opponents. But I'm able to find opponents on my ISO, thanks to, um, BFKA, so. Once again, I always thank him, but I mean, I'm really so thankful. Without him, I, I would probably still be unable to pl uh, play on Weemfy, you know, on my Wii. But, you know, I really have so much gratitude for BFK and his um, efforts. But yeah, this will pretty much conclude Custom Trucks Worldwide number 40. And I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope that you guys will enjoy this video and... You know, if you did, you guys could like this video. If not, you, you guys um, don't have to. And also, got you guys could comment on this video. And also, share this video to everybody else. Definitely appreciate it, guys. And subscribe for more videos just like this one. Alright, guys. Well, this will um, conclude Custom Trucks Worldwide number 40. It's quite shocking that um, I already made 40 Custom Truck Worldwide races. Or Custom Truck Worldwide videos rather <laughs> pardon me guys i'm getting kind of weary here all right well um i'm gonna wrap it up here and i am yoshi guy 8 saying so long everybody